In this lecture, you will learn how to protect RESTful services using basic authentication and OAuth2 features available in Oracle Apex. Basic authentication and OAuth2 are two different authentication mechanisms used for securing web applications, including Oracle Apex. Basic Auth is simpler and relies on transmitting encoded credentials with each request, while OAuth2 is a more sophisticated authorization framework that involves token-based authentication and uh, is often used in scenarios where third-party applications need controlled access to user resources. The choice between them depends on the specific security and integration requirements for your Oracle Apex application. Let's see how to implement these authentications in Oracle Apex, starting with the basic auth. This is the Apex instance where we created RESTful services in the previous lecture. And now we are going to implement authentications to protect these resources from unauthorized access. First, you have to create a role and a privilege in ORD's RESTful services interface. Create a role called REST services role. It is just a name without any details. Then you have to create a privilege. When you create a privilege, you need to specify the role and the module you want to protect. This is how you link the role and the module to the privilege. Once this is in place, you need to create a user group and a user to assign the privilege. Create an Apex group with the same name as the role you created. Then create a user. For example, John. This is just normal user and doesn't have any uh, special privileges. Assign the REST services role group to this user. Everything is hooked up and the remote user John will be able to access this protected resource. Now switch to another Apex instance. Go to Manage Users in Group page. And create this user. On the main App Builder page, access the Workspace Utilities page. Access the web credentials page and create this web credential. You use web credentials to connect to uh, external REST services. Select basic authentication for the authentication type. Enter John's credentials including his name and password that you set in the uh, source Apex instance. In real world, these credentials are provided by the source instance administrator. Provide the URL endpoint. Next, create a REST data source. As authentication is currently enabled on the remote REST resource, we must now provide authentication details. Select the REST services role from the credentials list.
After creating the REST data source, create an interactive report page and use the REST basic auth as a data source. The data is fetched for the report. Now let's see what happens if we revoke the role from the user on the source instance. This is the source instance. Remove the REST services role and apply the change. Refresh the interactive report. You will receive HTTP 401 unauthorized error message indicating that John is not authorized to use the resource. Revert the change to reinstate basic authentication. OAuth2 is an uh, authorization framework that enables third-party applications to access a user's resources without exposing their credentials. It is more complex than basic auth and provides a token-based authentication mechanism. OAuth2 involves the exchange of tokens between the client application and resource server. A client could be an application or service that needs to access protected resources. A resource server is a server hosting the protected resource that the OAuth2 client wants to access. It is responsible for uh, validating access tokens and serving the requested resources if the token is valid. When you are an owner of a resource, you need to create a client and assign privilege and role to the client. You have to create the client using this API because there is no UI for this and everything has to be done on SQL commands. In this built-in OAuth API, you provide a name for the client. The grant type is client credentials, a short description and an email address. This is the same privilege name we created for the basic auth. Then we associate a role with the client using this grant client role API. This is the same role we created in the basic auth section earlier. Executing the two APIs will generate a client ID and a client secret for us that we can query using this select statement. We use these two to get a limited time token which is used to access the resource. Let's first try the client ID and secret in Postman to access the resource. This is the URL endpoint for the resource. If you try to run it now, you will encounter an error. Since the resource is now protected, you have to provide the client credentials to access the resource. Select OAuth2 for the authorization type.
as i mentioned earlier o or to involve the exchange of tokens between the client application and resource server so first we have to create a token enter the token name you provided in the api set grant type to client credentials as we set this value in the api access token url in the url you provided in the hr module copy this url up to your schema alias and then append slash oauth and slash token to it copy and paste the client id and client secret from sql commands interface click this get new access token button authentication is completed successfully and here is our access token click the send button to fetch data from the rest resource Now we are going to access the rest resource from another apex instance. Once again, we have to create an entry in the web credentials to connect to the rest service. Enter any name for the web credentials entry. Select OAuth2 client credentials flow from the authentication tab list. Copy and paste the client ID and client secret strings and create this web credentials entry. Now create a REST data source. Select the web credentials entry you just created. Here the OAuth token URL is missing the schema name, so add it just after Apex. The data is fetched in Oracle Apex. Finally, create an interactive report on this data source.
we have successfully accessed the REST resource using OAuth2 protocol as well. Basic authentication in Oracle Apex provides a straightforward and secure way for applications to authenticate users. With a simple username and password mechanism, it offers ease of implementation while ensuring data integrity and confidentiality. On the other hand, OAuth2 authorization in Oracle Apex enhances security by enabling control access to resources. It's a versatile authentication framework suitable for scenarios where uh, third-party applications or services need secure access to protected resources, promoting a secure and seamless user experience. That's it for now. See you in the next lecture.